This particular trap goes like this. Pawn to f4, knight to c6, knight to c3, g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, and bishop to c4. This is all very normal in the Grand Prix. In this particular case, we're going to look at e6, we castle, and when the knight jumps out here and they're prepping to push here, the normal move here is to go here. This is the normal move. Sometimes I like to play knight to g5. They'll typically castle, and then I play f5. Usually what they're gonna do is they're gonna take here. You're gonna take back, and now if they take with the knight, which is almost what always happens, you take the knight with your rook. And now they can't take your knight because your rook's protecting it. So, natural move, take with the pawn. And now we see the power of this trap. We play queen h5, threatening the checkmate. Uh, about the only way for them to try to defend is to play pawn to h6. And then we take with the knight, hitting the queen, and threatening the discovered check on the king. They'll just try to save their queen, and it appears that here, they're just hitting the, the knight twice. But the problem is you still have that discovered check. You do a double check here, hitting them with the knight, hitting them with the bishop. They only have a couple of moves, and it doesn't matter which one they go to because your next move is a discovery on the queen. Okay, so if they go here, if the queen tries to block, you take with the knight. If the bishop tries to block, you take the queen here. You also have this really cool move, if you want. It's just kind of fancy. Doesn't really do anything different. The queen or the bishop can block. Just a little bit fancier, does the exact same thing. 